Hi everyone, welcome back to the another video of Linux Academy. So friends, in this particular video, we are going to learn about the different types of the automation. Friends, we all know about the automation, like why it is implemented in most of the manufacturing industries. Well, we, we, we all know the cost of the product and the market competition. The market competition is increased so drastically that you, you need to reduce the cost of the product. The selling cost of your product should be reduced in order to be in competitive in the market. So in order to accommodate, you know, your, the raw material prices, the cost of the labor, okay, that needs to be processed in order to achieve the profit and the production rate. So in order to maintain higher production rates, most of the manufacturing industry tends to automate their plant. Well, there are three types of, of the automation. That is nothing but the fixed automation, programmable automation and flexible automation. In this particular video, we are going to look at all of these three types of the automation. But before that, friends, if you are new over here on my educational channel, Ingenious Academy, kindly subscribe it and please press the bell icon. So whenever I upload a new educational informative stuff, you will be notified. So let's begin with today's topic of different types of automation. So starting with the first one, that is nothing but the fixed type of the automation. Well, as the name itself, the fixed automation. So in a particular assembly line, okay, the sequence of the operation is decided and the machines are aligned in such a way that it matches with the sequence of the operation. So the final product will be the fixed type of the product. There will be no changes, no design changes no uh, change in the sequence or no change in the process that cannot be accommodated. So this is nothing but the fixed type of the automation. Means over here, the arrangement of the machines, it is in a fixed sequence based upon the nature of operation. So basically friends, suppose if there is any kind of a design change or as the product change or as the flexibility of the product, so you won't get that flexibility in this type of the production system that is nothing but the fixed automation. So this particular automation type of the system, it is suitable for the mass productions. You can see this type of the production systems in the automobile industry and in the sugar factories where the everything it is there in a fixed position. The product is also fixed. There is no, you know, flexibility or no change in the products. This is suitable for the mass production. Over here, the initial setup cost is very, very high. The sequence of the operation is decided and all the machineries are arranged in that sequence based upon the sequence. So this is nothing but the fixed type of the automation system. Moving ahead, next one is nothing but the programmable automation. So over here, friends, we got that flexibility to change the design of the product. Over here in the programmable automation, like we can, you know, determine, we can change the sequence of the operation. Also, we can do the design changes or as the, we can have that flexibility to have different, different products in a same line, in a, uh, in a particular line itself. Basically, this type of the production system, it is suitable for the batch production system. Over here, this type of the production system you can see in a, like a pressure gauge manufacturing industries or else you can see this type of the production systems in like a shoes manufacturing or else uh, in the clothing clothing industries so all these items the all these products these are the flexible products this is these are the products which having a different different designs so all of these changes can be accommodated in the this type of the automation systems that is programmable automation. Uh, another example I can give is nothing but the CAD CAM systems like suppose a CNC shop, CNC machine. Okay, that particular CNC machine can have a different different sequence of the operation and we can alter that operation. We can alter the final geometry of the product. So that was the simple example of this programmable automation. We can have a different different programs. We can have a numeric program basically which is uh, coded uh, within that uh, 
computers basically so this is nothing but the programmable kind of the automation and which is suitable for the batch production system over here the cost is very high like initial cost is very high but it can accommodate the product changes so basically in this type of the production system the flexibility uh, that we will get more and the last type of the automation system is nothing but the flexible automation so over here what happens in the earlier that is the programmable automation the downtime is there like i have uh, determined a particular program and i have uh, you know manufactured a final product and then for next program okay the machine remains ideal ideal so for the next program the machine remains ideal so this downtime of the machine can be reduced in the flexible automation systems over here there are n number of the sequence of or the operations or the programs which are there pre-designed over here you will get the flexibility of the product so you can accommodate the design changes as well also there will be no downtime now this type of the production system you will mainly see in the electronic industries where a lot of flexibility in the product itself is there so electronic market like a cell phone manufacturing company over there you can see the flexible kind of the automation flexible automation is implemented there are it means there the quantity the production quantity is uh, reduced but the variation is increased so also this particular production system it is suitable for the aircraft manufacturing industry or as the you know heavy kind of a job shop production systems so where a greater amount of the flexibility is achieved in this type of the uh, automation that is nothing but the flexible automation system so friends over here the advantage is that you will be getting a higher amount of the product variety but the quantity is reduced over here so this is nothing but the flexible automation system so friends in this particular video we have learned about the fixed automation programmable automation and the flexible automation so friends i hope you have learned about the different types of the automation systems so basically friends in every manufacturing industry nowadays you will be able to see the programmable automation systems where a uh, you know high amount of productivity that is required so so their main goal and their main strategy is to reduce the product cost per unit so ultimately they can reduce the cost of the final product and try to be competitive in that market so friends that is all about for the the automation systems that is the fixed programmable and the flexible so i hope you understand this topic so friends if you having any doubts any queries feel free to comment and please if you having another new topic so you can suggest me in the comments so thank you so much for watching this educational video please do subscribe and motivate me to make more of such educational videos